사랑해요 마기타 보고 싶어 아킹신타 안아줘 뽀뽀해줘 Annyeonghaseyo, Chinggudu. This is Korean Kim. Thank you guys again for joining me in this new video. Now, because this video is specifically for Filipinos, ako po ay magtataglish sa video na ito. And if it's your first time to watch my video at plano niyong pumunta ng Korea, nako, ang swerte niyo dahil lahat ng videos ko ay all about Korea. Kaya mag-subscribe na at mag-bench watch ng mga videos ko. Now, today's topic is how to apply for a Korean visa for Filipinos. Ang dami pong natatanong sa akin, ang dami naging inquire, so I just decided to make a video para ililink ko na lang tong video kapag may nagtanong. Now, this will cover all sorts of people, employees, self-employed, students, and unemployed. And I also want to point out that this video is specifically for tourists. Now, if you want to go there as a student, as a worker, iba po ang mga requirements na kailangan ninyo. Now, if you're watching this and you're not Filipino, I'm sorry, I can't really help you. Because <laughs> this is really for Filipinos. So, ano ba ang mga importante requirements kapag nag-apply ka ng Korean visa? We have the generic requirements, which include, number one, the visa application form. So, below in the description box, you can click on the link to download the visa application form. So, sa likod ko ang visa application form, kailangan yung sagutan ng personal details, ang passport details, ang contact information form, marital status and family details, education, employment, and of course, purpose of visit, which is tourism. And hindi na siya pwedeng handwritten, kailangan typewritten to. Now, ito yung pinakamahalagang parts. Details of sponsor and funding details. Sa so, dinami-dami ng beses na nag-apply na po ako for Korean visa since way back 2010, and dami ko na rin pong kalala na na-deny and everything, very important itong mga parts na to. Now, for the details of sponsor, personally, this is my personal opinion and I guess based also on experience. Kung wala naman talaga kayong sponsor, huwag nyo na pong lagyan ng sponsor. At kung hindi naman din ganun ka big deal yung sponsor na magsisponsor sa inyo, like for example, personal na tao lang ang mag-iimbita, huwag nyo na rin po yung lagay. Akin lang naman po yan. Now, for the funding details naman, kung estudyante kayo, di ilagay niyo yung parents nyo, kung kunyari hindi ka pa nagkatrabaho. But if you're an employee and if you are self-employed or even unemployed, I believe that you have to put your name under the funding details. Kasi ita mo ah, bakit ka naman maglalagay ng ibang tao kung hindi ka naman na estudyante or minor? Why would they give you a visa kung hindi mo naman kaya talagang umikot-ikot ng Korea? So, you also have to think about what the consuls would think when they're checking your application form. So that's it for the visa application form. Kailangan nyo po siyang i-complete. Again, reminder, kailangan typewritten at hindi pwedeng sulat kamay. Another requirement, of course, is one passport photo na white background. Now, ako ay recommend gumastos na kayo, magpa-photo na po kayo sa totoong professional photographers, whatever, sa mall, etc. So, tell them that you are using it for your visa application. You would also need an original passport that's valid for six months as well as the photocopy of the bio page or the page two of the passport, the one with your details. Now, you would also need an original bank certificate and an original bank statement. Now, ito yung maraming tanong. Um, they always ask, magkano po ba ang dapat laman ng banko? Based sa experience ko at sa mga nakausap ko travel agencies, hindi masyadong mahalaga yung amount na nando doon. But it's very important na hindi siya one-time big time na ilalagay mo. For example, kukuha ka ng bank statement or bank certificate on, let's say, on the 15th of the month. Tapos, naglagay ka ng maraming pera on the 10th of the month. Nakikita nila yon, magre-reflect yun obviously kasi tinitignan nila yung last 3 months ng bank statement mo. So, for example, ang statement mo, puro tugtog 2,000, minimum, 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 minimum. Tapos, yung last week mo, ang daming pera, uh, medyo nakakagulat yan at nakapagtataka. So, I suggest na kung plano nyo pong mag-Korea in the next 3-6 months, ngayon pa lang, lagyan nyo siya ng malaki-laki amount para yung average daily balance ninyo ay sapat at hindi parang isang bugkos lang na bumuho siyang ganyan. And also, you have to take into consideration how much money you will be spending in Korea because they also check that. For example, you're gonna be in Korea for 7 days. You put on your application form, you're gonna be there for 7 days, but your money in the bank is about 20,000 pesos. So, if you compute it, I'm not sure if it's possible to stay that long for only 20,000 and wala ka nang, pagbalik mo ng Pilipinas, wala ka nang pera. So, medyo hindi ata siya kapanipaniwala 
So you have to be very particular about that. If you're traveling with your parents or siblings, you also have to provide a photocopy of your NSO or PSA birth certificate. And if you're a female married applicant, you also have to provide a photocopy of your NSO or PSA marriage certificate. And this is not required, only if applicable. You have to also send a photocopy and original copies of the visa and arrival stamps to OECD countries for the past five years. Now that we are done with the general requirements, we will now be going to the specific requirements per category. Now let's start with the employees. Kung empleyado ka po at ikaw yung katrabaho, ito po yung mga kailangan mo on top of the ones that were mentioned earlier. So most importantly, you would need an original certificate of employment kasama ang applicant's position, date hired, compensation, office address, landline number ng HR, bawal po ang cellphone, at of course, email address ng HR, tsaka yung date kung kailan na-issue ang certificate. Kailangan din mag-send ng photocopy of ITR, Form 2316, and photocopy of PRC card or IDP card only if applicable. Ngayon, kung ikaw ay self-employed at may sarili kang negosyo, etc., ito ang kailangan mong mga additional requirements. Photocopy of business registration from SEC, all pages or DTI. Photocopy of business permit or mayor's permit. Photocopy of ITR form 1701 or 02, all pages with corresponding payment receipt. Alright, para naman sa mga estudyante dyan, ito ang kailangan ninyo. Of course, you would need the original school certificate. Ang copy ng registration forms are not accepted. Photocopy ng valid school ID at dokumento ng mga parents nyo. Ngayon, mahalaga tong part na to. Yung kung yung parents nyo ay employed, kailangan nyo masubmit yung mga documents for employees na na-mention earlier. Ngayon, kung yung parents nyo po ay self-employed or may negosyo, please refer to the for self-employed portion. Now, bukod dyan, kailangan nyo rin mag-submit ng original personal bank certificate ng parents ninyo at parents' bank statement for the last three months. Now, for all of you unemployed, medyo tricky ito kasi kailangan nyo magpadala ng letter of explanation explaining kung bakit kayo unemployed. Now, if you're a recently graduated applicant, you can also provide a photocopy of your diploma and transcript of records. But you can also provide additional documents if you will be guaranteed by your spouse or parent. Now, if your spouse or parents are employed, you have to refer to the for employment portion. Now, if your spouse or parents are self-employed, you have to refer to the for self-employed portion. You'd also need to provide an original bank certificate and original bank statement of your spouse or parent. Now, very important reminders. Number one, documents must be typewritten and printed in an A4-sized paper. For the application form, please do not use N slash A or not applicable anymore. If it's not applicable to you, just leave it blank. Required documents must be complete, otherwise your application might be refused. Now, starting last year, the Korean Embassy has not allowed personal application of the documents. Kailangan nyo na pong dumaan sa travel agencies. At I don't want to, you know, promote any travel agency, so please just check online all the travel agencies that are accredited by the Korean Embassy. At mag-submit po kayo ng requirements doon. Technically, walang bayad ang Korean visa for tourists. However, ang kailangan nyo bayaran ay ang travel agency na maglalakad ng dokumento ninyo. And of course, this is the most important thing to consider. Before, applying for a Korean visa would only take 3 to 7 working days. And then a couple of months ago, naging 10 to 15 working days na application. Ngayon, umaabot na po ng 30 to 40 working days. Kaya kung kailangan niyo pong lumipad, may specific date kayo na kailangan kayo makapunta ng Korea, please consider yung 30 to 40 working days na inaabot kapag nag apply for a Korean visa. Now, I hope that you guys learned a lot from this video and sana po nakatulong po itong video nito sa pag-apply nyo po ng Korean visa. Again, this is for tourists. If you are applying for student or work, hindi po ito yung mga requirements na kailangan ninyo. And guys, if you are going to Korea, naku, gaya po na sinabi ko kayo ng umpisa, ang dami niyo pong pwedeng matutunan about Korea sa channel ko na ito because it's all things Korea. 
if you want to know the places where to go shopping, if you want to know the places where to eat. Kung kayo po ay K-pop fan, my gosh, K-pop fans, you would enjoy the videos on this channel. If you'd also like to know more about the culture from, from an outsider's perspective, not as a Korean, you can also learn from some of my videos. So I hope that you guys will enjoy my videos. And I really hope sa mga mag apply ng visa, ma-approve po ang visa ninyo at makapunta po kayo ng Korea, mag-enjoy po kayo at makapag-travel. Huwag niyo po makalimutan na mag-comment on this video and like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. And of course, add me on my different social media accounts so I can also chat with you here on the comment section and on my SNS. So, I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you and please remember to be kind and to spread love and happiness. Bye!